and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Pitching in our game today, Josiah Gray. What should we keep an eye on here? Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, this team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. And now the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. Edmund. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. One down, base is empty. Inside, no, just got... missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Fly ball down the line. And that is a foul ball. The 2 2 on the way. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Lifted in the air, out to left. Chavis makes the catch, and that is that. Redbirds down quietly, and now the Nats get their first opportunity. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And for the Cardinals here this afternoon, it's Miles Michaelis. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games Lead as of late. We'll Washington. see today how many innings That's he's got job. in him. Bottom of the first. CJ. And here is C.J. Abrams. The 1-1. One, one. And that's Two outside. One. Upstairs. Yeah. And now a full count. Okay. Wind of the pitch. Base knock center field. He's been swinging it really well lately. That's that about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load really? out of the way early. He God stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now it's Luis Garcia, and there's Paul Ford. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. So now here's the DH, Joey Meneses. And now two and one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. That's a slider for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Way inside, gets out of the way. Swung on, belted, deep left field. That one on its way. His 17th of the year. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-0. Listen to these fans. 
This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. He got on plane with that high fastball, but look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Here's Lane Thomas. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Three, two now. In the air, left field. Yepes has a beat on it. And there's one away. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. Singy, the numbers tell us this is an offense designed to swing it. They're not going to force a ton of action on the bases. And so, obviously, that is one of the focal points that we'll look at. And you look at the quality of the at-bats because of the fact that the legs aren't a part of this game. They have to be very selective, look for long pitch counts, grinding out at-bats, and really barrels to the baseball because it's a lot easier to jog around the bases than for these guys to sprint. And a oh. curve is down and in. Still only one out here in the inning. That one's in there, and that is strike two. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Three, two. Right through there, got him. Snap throw. Batting six. Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. Next offering upstairs. And here it comes. Out towards right center field. Burleson makes the play and it's out number three. But the Nationals strike for three, all coming via this three-run homer. It's now 3-0. It's Major League ba New inning getting started. Here's Nolan Gorman. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The 1-1 is fouled off. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. And a 1-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. He swings and fouls one off. Two two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Here's the rookie right fielder, Alec Burleson. That one to first. Fair ball. Batting seven. 
Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Throw in. Holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put ah. the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Andrew Kisner. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's oh, coming next. And now it's 3-2. and two. Mike Antico to bat next. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Stays alive. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Pitch. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed that's down great. low. That's a nice at bat and a great take on three two. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Strike two. And that misses off the outside edge. Swing and a miss struck him out. Huge strike out there. So three left for St. Louis. They trail in this one, three nothing. And welcome back. Dom Smith stands in. The first base on the mound. He's got Not to there. remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Left hand batter waits. Good eye right okay. there. <laughs> on the ground. Over to Goldie. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting eight, the catcher. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. The one two. Two two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's Chavis now. One for four with a double in yesterday's game. Kicks and deals. Just oh, misses good. with that one. Right here, huh? High fly ball out at a left center field. Yepes makes the catch. That's out number two. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. That misses two the zone one. and a count two and one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Out there to center. 
And it drops in. Here's the throw to the plate. He beats it safe. And it's 4 nothing. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And that should be extra bases. Abrams around third. To the play. Save. And the lead is up to five. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here. But you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's Oliver Marmol towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Miles Michaelis gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New arm on the mound for the Cardinals, Jake Woodford. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Jake Woodford. And next is the designated hitter, Joey Meneses. He had a big three-run homer at his first trip. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Nationals five and the Cardinals nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Maybe stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, shortstop. Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond. Next one in the dirt. And that one is lifted in the air. Chavis under this one. And it's caught for the out. The batter. Brendan Donovan, the Brendan next to hit. He was a strikeout Donovan. victim his first time. Left hand hitter waits. Just Ball. missed. Two balls, one strike. Cold right. strike right there. Two two now. Lace down the line. Base hit right field. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. So man aboard. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 2-2 two -two now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go oh. up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one ripped. That's back. And that one's gone. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually oh. bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. That's in there. Three balls, two okay. strikes. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And that's ball, ball four. four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and 
Go after this next guy. Sneaks through. Base hit. Now that Not much to this one other than just a willingness Taylor. to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now here is bounced up the middle. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. If he would have had just a little quicker release going up the middle, he's maybe able to get that out right there. And that's the kind of play that defines the best shortstops between just the average ones. That's in there. Two and two. Two outs. Bases are full. On the ground to third. Whips it across. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Two runs for St. Louis on this blast. It's now 5-2. Back in Washington, D.C. Now it's going to be Lane Thomas. Right-hander kicks deals. That's a little bit low. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Chris Stratton up and throwing. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Pretty good spot, hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to you. Next off, bring pop foul off to the right out of play. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. Next offering misses. Full count now. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pit. Runner on the go. Bounce to the right side. Donovan gathers and throws to first. Got him. Runner stays out of the double play by going on the 3-2 pitch. And now up for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Lined into right. Burleson makes the catch. Runner tags it second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. Now it's Dominic Dumbass Smith. Patient. He's Dumbass over for one. Dumbass. The one one. And That's another ball. ball. That misses. Ball. Three balls and a strike. Hebert Ruiz up next for Washington. Ah. Next offering finds the zone and the count is full. Okay. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three two now. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. So one left for Washington and it remains five two. Back here in Nationals Park, out of the fourth and stepping in for the Cardinals, Mike Antico. Antico. Here's a one one. Now one missed. Next pitch misses. Now three and one. And a foul ball. That one, 95 to finish him off. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From you your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base no, hit to the outfield. Ball. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Foul ball.
And the right-hander deals. That one down the line. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. One for two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Thomas gets under it. He's got it. And that is that. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They trail at 5-2. Welcome back. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading the off catcher. the bottom of the fourth, Hebert Ruiz. Ruiz. And that is in for a strike. And the count is two and two. And now it's filled up. Three, two. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And there's one down. Up next for Washington, the left fielder. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. Flied out his first time. The 2 1. There's a strike. That's down and away. On the ground, out to short. Fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Liner, base hit. Now back. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. A couple of singles now back to back. back. Anytime you rip a line drive the other no way, way, you feel really good no, about what it. you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. Your you let the ball please. travel, and you took now, the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Chris Stratton. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of them. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. The one, two. Line drive, base hit. Abrams rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. It's 6 2. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now, Lane Thomas. The next pitch misses. Ball two. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2-1. Out towards right center field. Dunks one into left. Garcia around third. One run across. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Here's Jared Kelman. And now two and two. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. 
And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Run around the move. There's a swing and a drive. That one carrying. And forget it. Third home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 10-2. to He wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. At the play, Ildemaro Vargas. Oh, and a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. But not before five cross the plate. With a big blow being this, three run. Zach Britton will take over here. He's pitching on two days rest. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit the and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, Pretty pitch to pitch. Card. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Man at first, and next will be the cleanup hitter. Nolan Gorman, he's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Gorman checks his swing, appeal to third. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. The 2 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. 2 2 now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now better. And now it's Juan Yepes. And the pitch. Yep. Swing and a foul straight back. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the raid. And it stays fair. Goldschmidt makes the turn at second. And he's got a double. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now, here is Alec Burleson. 2-2 two -two now. Ground ball to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. So digging in, Taylor Motter. Two on, two outs. And that's in for a strike. Into center. Diving try, but it falls in base hit. The run comes in from second, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. In there safely. Andrew Kisner next up for the Cardinals. They say it went. One, two. Next two, offering two. is down low. Motter stands at second with two gone. Good job to fight that one off. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. This one in the air right field. Kelman makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Nationals 10 and the Cardinals 4.
Bottom of the inning. Up now for Washington. Dominic Smith. The first baseman. Dominic Smith. That one's in there. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. On the ground to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The bat, the catcher, Caper, Ruiz. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. At the belt and fires. And strike two. One ball. Two strikes. One and two now. Ground ball right side. And that's just foul. The one, two. And a ball evens the count. He goes down looking. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Michael Chavis. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Motter under it. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for Washington. They're up comfortably, though. It's 10-4. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The now, new pitcher, Erasmo Ramirez. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one Whoa, strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Here's a one-two. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Garcia puts it away, and there's one down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder, now, ranging that, back into the outfield. Know. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Tommy Edmond at the plate. And a pitch. Just oh, missed. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. The next offering misses. All three. Right-handed reliever. Now a screamer into the outfield. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And into second with one away. That's a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. The 3 1. Swings through that one for strike two. This one lifted in the air, left field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Two down. Now batting, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. The 1-1. One -one. There's the strike. Edmund at second with two down. Pitch misses there. Two and two. 
outside. Payoff pitch. Swings through it for the K. Snuck the fastball by him. One hit. And welcome back. Bottom of the six. Here's a speed threat. C.J. Abrams. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. And the count is even two and two. And he deals. Base hit, center field. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Runner on the goal. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And that should be extra bases. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Row comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. The punch out there, one away, bottom of the sixth. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right That's there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. 1-1 one, one now. Two. One, two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Pitching change here, Anthony Misevich. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really Anthony impressive. He's really Misevich. filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. Misses Ball. outside. Now two balls and a strike. There's a strike. one off the mark and it's three and two runner at second two down caught him looking for the K so the welcome back we're in the seventh we have a new pitcher on the mound Trevor Williams and he's got a nice lead to work with so he should come in throwing strikes attacking these hitters off the plate and it's two and one on the ground to the That's left foul and foul ball swing and a miss for the strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater good pitch right there I mean he's attacking a location no that this no guy at the plate tends to have trouble wow. with man there's just so much information in this day and age sometimes too much information but the guys that can take that information process it and then go out there Boog and execute the pitch go right after that hitter and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. And now Alec Burleson. And a foul ball. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He'll touch them all. Third home run of the season. It's 11-5. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. With the low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Base hit. And that keeps the inning going. 
So two down, and now the catcher comes up to him. Andrew Kisner fouls one off, two and two. Modern off of first with two away. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Chavis under it, and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. Midway. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Ildemaro Vargas. And a 1 1. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Henesis Cabrera appears to be getting loose. The why to kick the pitch. Ground ball, left side, and that's a fair ball. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Next to hit, Dominic Smith. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Yepes makes the catch for the out. One away. Now batting catcher, K. Burks. Ruiz. And now it's going to be Hebert Ruiz. One for three. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. And now it's even up. In the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. The throw is wild, and it gets away. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Runners at first and second with one gone. And now the lefty, just a slow ground ball this time. Throws to second for one. Over to first, safe. The batter, number five, up. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. To the right side, Donovan. They take the force out, third out. So the Nats leave a pair. They're up big, however. It's 11-5. We go to the eighth. Digging in, Mike Antico. Rip towards third. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now batting the shortstop, Tommy back Edmund. to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Ball to strike. The pitch. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. That one carrying. And it's out of here. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. one nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Line drive, caught! Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still no, drive you absolutely crazy. Here comes a pitch. And one and two. One I think ball. he was sitting off speed there. And that one hammered. Way back there. Gone! Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, 
absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. That one fouled off, two and two. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. But the long ball was working. Cody Whitley gets the ball now. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. That one in for a strike, two and two. Right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. So, man aboard. Now it's the DH, Joey Manessis. He's already homered here in this one. That misses Ball, the zone. Outside. Two balls and a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Here's a 2-1. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good, solid contact. That ball was smoke, but now needed a little more to lift to get into the outfield gap. They need a little more backspin. And here is Lane Thomas. Here's a 1-1. Bunting for a hit. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Next to hit for the Nats, Jared Kelman. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a bond. I mean, this is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. One out, runners at first and second. Now fly ball to right center. And makes the grab. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now, Ildemaro Vargas. Righty delivers. And a base hit knocks in a run. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. Right. That's a poor stroke. And now Dominic Smith. That one ripped right center field. That's going back. Back some more. Reaching for it. Makes the catch the inning but they leave two back in Washington DC we go to the ninth now the left fielder Juan Yepes now the throw to first on the run Got now it. one Got gone in the ninth now it's the right fielder Alec Burleson coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat and that's a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single here's the third baseman Taylor Motter the 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Burleson at first, one gone. Double play ball to second. One at second. And that's a double play to end it. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 12-7, your final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here.